How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again with another monthly update video. I've just finished watching the monthly live stream that Forza do and I have taken lots and lots of notes and I'm here to provide you with a little video speaking about everything that we can see from content and cars in Forza Horizon 4 over the next month mainly about update 7. Now we're getting lots of new features in this update, we're getting lots of new little bits added, lots of new cars as well, I'm quite excited about this one. What I'm first going to talk about first are all of the new cars that we're going to get, then I'm going to talk about some of the new big features, then I'm going to talk about some of the little features and then some of the fixes, and some of the fixes are quite good. And then at the end, I'm going to be able to touch on some information about some of the future updates. The next one, next month, that we've been given a little bit of information on. So I'm going to presume that this update, all of these cars and features are going to come out at some point next week. That's usually how they do it. This is being released on the 8th of March. So we can sort of expect this update to be between the 10th and the 15th, somewhere around there. But it's definitely an exciting one. So I'm going to jump straight into it with the new cars that we're expecting. The BMW Z4 Roadster, the brand new 2019 one, is being added into the game at some point. I believe this is through one of the new features, which I'll get to later on, but we're getting the new Z4. A Pontiac GTO is being added. The BMW M3 GTR, which is a very rare car, that one's being added, which is pretty cool. And the Porsche 914-6 is also being added, a very old and very slow Porsche, but nevertheless we're getting that. There's a new Lotus we're getting as well, and I did see in their car list a Trackhawk. Now, I don't remember that being in the game, they didn't mention it, they didn't say anything about it, but I saw it. Is this in the game? Someone let me know, but either way I saw that, I don't remember that being in the game, but whatever, maybe that's new as well. And, um... Some and the most exciting new cars for this update are three of the new RTR cars. We are getting three custom tuned cars added to the game which are basically Ford Mustangs but with a slight RTR tuning twist. They look really cool, they've got wide body kits on them, they've got an RTR badge on the back, they've got really cool front lights as you'll see when you're driving them. I think they come with about a thousand horsepower stock. But the coolest thing about these cars is one of them can be upgraded to just under 1,900 horsepower. This is probably going to be one of the new fastest cars in the game acceleration wise and I'm really looking forward to driving this. But um, these will also be available for everyone through some of the new features which are coming in the game. But we're getting a brand new 1,900 horsepower car in the game. That's pretty exciting and it's a Mustang. So uh, I think that's it for all the new cars we're getting. There's not too many now the car pass has ended, but still, could be worse. Now I'm going to quickly touch on some of the new features which are coming in. And now they're quite advanced features, which is why I'm going to try to get them through them quite quickly. But we're getting something called a festival playlist. Now we all know what Forzathon challenges are, basically little challenges that you mostly complete accidentally in the game and then you unlock a prize. Well, festival playlist is also ran on that as well. It's quite difficult to explain, but to put it short, over the month you'll get different challenges given to you through the festival playlist menu, and you will get prizes for how many of them you do. For example, this next upcoming month, if you complete all of the challenges, which are basically little mini Forzathon challenges, if you complete them all in the month, you will get given the Ford Capri Forza Edition. So that's just a slight example of what you can get. Um, these, the Forzathon challenges are basically PR stunts, but harder than three stars that's what some of them are anyway but you'll basically get the gist of it by looking at it on screen little challenges you can do for quick super wheel spins for quick cars and if you do them all in a month you'll get even better stuff like the capri forza edition but that's coming in the next update as well it does all look like a pretty cool feature which i'll be looking forward to having a little a little jazz at the next big feature we're going to be getting is called the showcase remix now this, in their words, is what they say is a twist on the showcase events, but to be honest, it's basically the showcase events in different cars at different locations, it's quite weird. Um, you'll get rewards for doing them as well, but the one they showed on stream, we were in the Ford Anglia against a train, yes, just like Harry Potter, and you got a little reward at the end. It's, it's, it's alright, I guess it's another way to relive the showcase events without doing them in the same cars, um, but showcase remix. 
you can unlock these events after you complete the standard showcase and you'll get to do them in special cars instead of the normal ones. So those are the two main big things coming, Festival Playlist and Showcase Remix. I would explain it in more detail but we don't know too much about them just yet, just the main details which is what I've touched you up on and I don't want to bore you. But it does look like a whole brand new way of getting all sorts of rewards, like super wheel spins are quite difficult to get if you're that far into the game. Festival Playlist opens up a world of opportunities for new rewards and stuff. A couple of other mini additions we're getting this update as well. Fortune Island has got four new trial events being added um, in this next update. So anyone who's been waiting on that at Fortune Island, there you go. 18 new achievements are being added at a total of 500 gamer score, which is quite a lot to be honest. Um, they said that these are going to be rolled out in batches, so there'll be a few achievements added and then eventually there'll be the full 18 added. So more achievements coming, that'll be cool. They also address the subject of war riding. Now, not many of us like war riding, it's a very scumbag way to, to race, if, if, if I'm honest. And they have said they're trying to fix it. And they mentioned that they basically got the fix complete. You know, they, they fixed wall riding, it wasn't possible anymore. However, it kind of glitched out, and when you went up a jump, it kind of activated the wall riding detection thing or whatever. So, wall ride fix is not going to come in this update. And they were really stressing about it that they do want to get this wall ride fix out. And they really do hope that the next update, so next month, will have the wall ride fix because uh, it seemed like th th they noticed last minute that it wasn't working properly. So we're not seeing that in this update. But a few fixes we are seeing in this update, the credit exploit is fixed. The major, major big one where you could get 10 million credits in a few minutes. Some of you will know what I'm on about, but that's been fixed finally. And also the mixer influence has also been changed. I don't know if they said how, but the way you gain influence off Mixer from streaming and watching streams, it's been changed a bit. I'm not sure if that's to fix the boosters or whatever, but it's been changed somehow. But all in all, this update, it's not that bad really. Um, lots of the comments were quite nasty on live streams, which sometimes I can understand, but today's live stream, I'm looking forward to it. There's loads of different ways to get new rewards coming in the game. And we're getting decent cars, the Z4 is a decent car, the M3 GTR is decent, and the Lotus, and the Trackhawk, if that was a new car, I'm not, I still don't know. And the, the RTR cars as well are very exciting, not to mention the ability to get the Ford Capri FE as well, but most people are just begging for Toyota, which we're not going to get. But just a sneak peek bit of information that we were given about the next update as well, um, probably update 8, I believe. Um, there's going to be some changes to the online adventure, um, or not changes, some additions. There's going to be something called a custom adventure. No idea what that's going to be, but probably a custom adventure of some sort. There's also going to be a drift adventure. So if you think if you think you're the best drifter in the world, you can go and do drift adventures with your friends or your boyfriends and win. If that makes sense, just more adventures. <laughs> Um, but I will say again, this is not in update 7, this will be in update 8, so next month, or the month after. They've just given us some sneak peek information on that, nothing's confirmed really. So I believe that's practically everything we need to know about the Horizon 4 update 7 update we're getting next week, hopefully. As I said, I watched the hour-long live stream and just listened very carefully for the little sneak peek bits they gave because there's a few things they don't talk about for very long and if you miss it, that's it. Um, such as the little fixes they've done and the, um, the little features they've added, which are pretty cool. Which is also why I like to do a little video to keep you all up to date with everything that's going to get added in this update. Absolutely everything you need to know about it is in this video. The only thing that I am completely unaware of, and so everyone else is, are the car sounds. They don't usually mention when they're changing car sounds, so just because I've not mentioned it in today's video doesn't mean we're not getting any car sounds added. Um, I think it's quite possible they might be changing a few, just like they usually do. We'll have to wait and see. But along with the new cars added, some of the new features, I'm, I'm happy about this update. It's, it's not too bad. And I'm looking forward to having a look at it, especially the festival playlist, because I want another Capri FE. <laughs> but uh, anyway, ladies, please leave a like if you've enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section below what your favourite feature you're looking forward to is, because I'm interested. 
subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all, oh, voice crack, <clears throat> later.